this right here is the original home, right. and yep. then this is the extension that we're making. So the extension is actually bigger than the original home already. Yes, yes. Yeah. So plus the carport. Yeah, the carport. Decking. Decking. This is decking pergola, veranda, yeah. and also back shed in here. All together, 400 square meters. 400 square meter building. building. That's, that's fantastic. And this bit out here, there's going to be another 300, 400 square meters of empty, backyard. empty backyard. Back yeah. backyard. That's amazing. Fantastic. All right, so I met another project. Uh, of course, this property here is obviously very, very old. We've actually bought the worst house on the street because most of the houses on the street are actually much, much better than the situation that we face here. But that's what you want to do if you're going to improve the property and then on sell it. So this is called, I guess, property flipping as everybody calls it. This property front has beautiful stone fronts. It was actually originally painted kind of like this, this white wall that we see, but we've actually washed it down because this kind of character is really, really important. And also this property is actually 110 years old. So a lot of work to be done, but we know that the work that we're going to put in here is going to pay off. The property sits on about what's 900 square meters or so which is very very big and it's very very close to the cbd we're in the western suburb of the adelaide cbd right now and it's all hands on deck right now we're doing a renovation and an extension at the back as well which i may show you at some point you might see that now depending on how i feel about editing it but basically this right here we bought it for about 650 670k we're going to probably tip in about 200 to about 300 thousand dollars in renovations and we expect that this property will be able to sell in the low 1 million so it'll be 1 1.1.2 potentially depending on how how much uh, demand there is for this kind of property this is not a subdivision project rather this is a this is a renovation and you know extension kind of project for this to be done you need slightly deeper pockets than otherwise you might have in a traditional property investment but the thing is even the extension can actually be funded by a bank as well which is a really great thing so this is all going to get improved and it's going to look very very beautiful it's it's maintaining the character of the property without having to completely demolish it and oftentimes this kind of projects can yield very very great All right, so we're digging out these trenches so that the concreting can actually have a good foundation. So we've got the backhoe that came in today, which is helping us uh, to dig these trenches out, which is amazing. As you can see, this is the original building right here. And we're gonna have the building built up all the way out to this point right here. So this is a fantastic way to build equity. And after doing this project, we're gonna be able to pull, yeah, pull quite a lot of equity out of this one without even having to sell the property. We may be able to fetch very, very good rental rates because of the location that we're in. And of course the increased demand that we have in the rental markets as well. So yeah, right now it's ugly, but the adage is buy the worst house in the nicest street. And we've done exactly that here and just where the market is going right now we're expecting to make very very good returns on this investment here as you know from the numbers that we shared before that you know we're going this property is not going to be a small property and i'm sure it's going to be very 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 popular when we, if we do decide to put it back on the market for sale but from the way the property is going at the moment we could probably wait a bit longer and even sell this at even higher premium and in that time i will show you how the progress is going with this property and i expect to see some very very impressive results from even, not only the work but on the financial side of as well so stay tuned guys and, um, and make sure when you're doing these kind of projects that you're working with the right construction company as well right renovation right right handiwork that goes into this project so that you're not going to be you know you know overcapitalized on your project so stay tuned guys and i'll see you in the next video go subscribe like and share all that stuff oh that's right in my oh crap